Hey, good morning, you guys, and welcome to Chapter 7 of Network Rock Your Network Marketing Business. Um, we are continuing on with uh, Rocktober this week. We've been a little bit quiet this week. Everybody's busy and excited, um, getting ready for Leaders Retreat, getting into town. The other girls are on the spree today, so y'all are stuck with me. Um, but we're going to be going over Chapter 7, The Power Close. Um, hopefully you have used the time the last couple of days to catch up on some of the previous chapters. You've been continuing with your consistent IPA. Um, you've been following up with the people that you've already reached out to. So now let's talk about how to close the deal, how to finish strong. Um, typically there are a couple of different questions that come up. Um, as we have progressed through the conversation, we've presented the products, we've talked about um, the amazing business opportunity. What do we need to do to onboard these ambassadors? Often the very first, and this um, makes me think of Victor Antonio and his objection blocking. Um, if you're not familiar with that concept, I would look up his videos about that um, on YouTube. He has some really great points of view on there. Um, but oftentimes, the very first thing that people begin to question when they're trying to make a decision about Plexus is, what is it going to cost me to get started? And in reading through this chapter, you guys, I, I was more encouraged than ever um, about our business opportunity and about how accessible it truly is to everyone. The fact that we have such a low buy-in, the fact that we don't have to carry inventory. So if somebody asks you, well, what is it going to cost me to get started in Plexus? Your legitimate answer back to them is $34.95 and the cost of your own products. Remind them that we are not a party-based company. Remind them that we don't stock or carry inventory. Um, that their output every month is truly going to be the cost of their own products, whether that's for themselves or for themselves and other members of their family. Um, another great way to remind them, because some people may say, well, I mean, $34.95 plus the cost of a welcome pack, that's, you know, either $134 or $234. Um, remind them about going silver. Remind them, especially this month, if they can go silver within their first month, then that's a $100 bonus on top of weekly building bonuses and their commissions. They can immediately make their total investment back. Remind them about Fast Start Gold. I think we don't talk to people enough about the Fast Start Gold um, bonus options or even Fast Start Senior Gold and beyond. Remind them about these opportunities so that they see they can earn an ROI or a return on their investment right away. So you've gotten cost out of the way. Now they, they want to know, how does it work? What exactly am I going to be doing? Let them know how simple it is. We do two things. We share our amazing, life-changing products. Remember a couple of weeks ago when I talked to you guys about products, and I told you then, you know, skincare is great, and handbags can be wonderful, and I love some jewelry, and all of these other things, but none of those are life-changing. When we talk about being hope dealers, we truly are. Our products are life-changing. And all you have to do is tell people about them. And then we also share about our incredible business opportunity. You share by telling the people that you know, the people that you meet, the people that you do life with, the people that you're connected to via social media. You tell them about the products. You tell them about the opportunity. And you rely on your sponsor and your other uplines to train you on how to be successful. Every single one of us has been given a system for this, um, even from corporate. If you work through the steps in the success kit, you know exactly how to share the business opportunity with people and tell them exactly what they'll be doing. The next thing people often want to know is, how do I make money doing this? Um, so we're going to give them an overview of the compensation plan. We want it to be simple and we want it to be quick. Focus on bonuses, focus on commissions, and talk to them about pay points. Um, talk especially about those upfront bonuses. Uh, 
getting silver within the first seven days so that they know they're immediately earning a hundred dollar bonus. That also builds confidence in them to share with people even beyond silver and potentially reach the rank of gold within their first 30 days where all of a sudden they are leveraging and stacking bonuses. Make sure that you are training your team about fast starts. Share about our compensation plan. Um, that, again, as we're reading through this book, as amazing as it is, there are so many things related to um, the business model that she speaks from where you have to do inventory and you need to be doing parties um, that is really different and unique in Plexus. Um, our compensation plan is entirely unique. It is fair. It is accessible to all. Let people know that they have the opportunity to earn money in 11 different ways. But in the beginning, focus specifically on commissions. Let them know that anything that they either personally buy or sell over that $100 in personal volume is commissionable, 15% commission. But set a goal for yourself, set a goal for your downline that you want everybody to reach a minimum of $500 in PV so that they can begin earning 25% commission from day one. And let them know if they have questions about pay points that it's a profit sharing model. You don't have to go into too much detail with this right away. There are lots of great videos. There's a corporate compensation plan video that you can sell with them. If you don't feel comfortable going into um, exactly how to explain pay points right away. I love one of the things that Sarah says here because I can relate to it on a very personal level. She said network marketing is one of the greatest ways to earn residual income and that residual income is hard to find unless you're a famous singer who gets paid every time his music gets played. One of the things you guys may not know about me is that my husband used to be on a record label out of Nashville. He was a Christian recording artist. Um, he went on some very big name tours. He was on um, a very prominent record label. And we continue to earn residual income off of those albums and off of the songs that get played on radio stations. I promise you his checks are not nearly the size that mine are, but we still get residual income. And residual income is a beautiful thing. Um, the number three thing that I want to emphasize here as you're discussing compensation plan or how people actually earn money is make sure and mention the incredible incentives that our company offers us above and beyond our pay. Did you know that a lot of companies, until you reach a certain income level, you don't actually even get paid in cash? You get paid in product that they then allow you to retail out so that you get actual money, but they don't even get cash. That's one of the things I love about Plexus is that we get paid in money, but we do have certain incentives. Share the Lexus program with them. Let them know that once you reach the rank of Emerald, you're going to be driving a Lexus and you get to get a new Lexus every two years. Tell them and share with them pictures of the Hawaii trips that corporate takes um, you on once you reach jewel level and then now the new diamond trip that we get to do. All over Facebook today, you're going to be seeing pictures of the, of the people that were the top earners in leaders, uh, the leaders retreat contest who are getting to do a $3,000 shopping spree at Nordstrom's. For some of your blue people, that may be the very thing that gets them to jump on board because that is such a fun opportunity. And then all this weekend, if you're at Leaders Retreat, share your pictures from Leaders Retreat. If you weren't able to get there this year, share the pictures and let people know that you've already set a goal that you're going to be on that trip next year. And let them see the fun that we have doing this business. We don't just get paid in Plexus, we get recognized. And I think everybody likes the fact that they can get recognized for their individual efforts and for the efforts of their team. That's actually um, it's one of the things that I love about it. Um, so people are going to say or they may tell you, I'm so busy. I don't have time to do this. Okay, that's legitimate. Identify with them on that. I can say to somebody that says that to me, I completely get it. I was that way too when we moved to Lubbock and I started my business, we were planting a church. That in and of itself was a full-time job. I was working part-time as a literacy teacher for the district, but even at part-time I was bringing work home with me every night. 
Um, I had two little kids that were involved in all kinds of activities. We had home group and we had church commitments. Um, I was busy. To say I was busy was an understatement. Most people who want this will find a way to work the business into the nooks and crannies of their lives. In the beginning for me, I like to say that I worked my business in bursts. It might have been 15 minutes here while I was making copies at the copy machine. It might have been the half hour that I had to eat lunch. And as I was eating, I was also posting on Facebook and I was answering questions about Flexus. I actually utilized my time in the carpool, carpool line. I remember hearing one of my uplines, Rosalind Payne, say that she felt like she went emerald in the carpool lane. Um, and I took that to heart. I would pick my daughter up from preschool. I would immediately drive and get in the carpool line where I would sit for about 45 minutes. And I would use that time to post on Facebook, to follow up with people, and to answer questions and sign people up. Once I got my kiddos home, we did homework, and we played, and we cooked dinner, and we did all of the things that all the other families do. And then once my kids went to bed, I'd sit on the couch while my husband watched TV, and I'd answer questions then as well. So it was in these little short bursts of time that I actually worked my business. It looks a lot different now because this is my full-time gig. Now I can block off a power hour in the morning and a power hour in the afternoon. I spend my evenings doing Zoom calls, helping other people build their businesses. But in the beginning, when my life was a lot busier with other things, it was those 15, 20-minute bursts that might have added up to one hour or two hours a day that helped me get to the rank that I'm at now. A great tool for you to use with people who say that they're too busy is diamond documentaries. Share the diamond documentaries of the jewels, um, of the diamonds who um, had this very issue. Some that I think of right off the top of my head, Ellen Ford, uh, Rosalind Payne, Aaron Zimmerman just had a great one that came out. Jarrett Abart is a great one to share about a man who really wanted to take his time back to be able to spend with his family. So use those diamond docs as a great reach out and say, I know you may think that you're too busy, but look at what she did. She reminds me of you, and if she can do it, you can too. People may tell you that they simply do not have the money to get started. This is a great time to remind them that it's $34.95 plus the cost of their products, and that now we have a 60-day money-back guarantee. So they can literally start their business completely and totally risk-free. And also tell them, what if I could teach you how to make your investment back within your first month? Or how about not just even earning your investment back, how about earning a paycheck and beyond? Again, remind them about going silver, remind them about fast start gold. A lot of people are going to tell you, look, I'm just not a salesperson. And my response to that is always good because I'm not either. Um, what we are looking for in this business is people who, when they love something, they share it. That's the natural extension of, of what we do in this business. We share what we love, whether it's makeup or a dry shampoo or a coffee creamer or the best place to eat in town or a new uh, salon that you went to that you love. Build belief in them by telling them, if I didn't think that you could do this, I wouldn't be talking to you. I've had my eye on you for a while. I've looked at how you share on social media. I've looked at how you engage with people when we're at the kids' soccer games. You're always talking to people. You've always got a crowd of people around you who love to hear what you are doing or what you believe in. Build belief in them because a lot of times appealing to a strength that they may not realize that they have or something they may not see in themselves can be the very thing that gives them the confidence to take this leap of faith. A lot of people have been turned off by network marketing in the past because they feel like you've got to bug your friends and family. You're continually knocking on somebody's door to try to get them to buy something. We don't want you to feel like you have to do that and remind them of that. Just share what you are doing. If it's for them and they want to do it, I was in the very lucky position that my mom was so supportive that she was like, hey, absolutely, you tell me to do it, I'm going to do it. I have two sisters who this just isn't for them. It's never been their deal, 
but I have lots of their friends that have joined my team or have been customers of mine because a referral can be just as powerful as a teammate. Remember, we refer referred to them early on as connectors, the people who will help connect us to a future customer or a future teammate. So pick, pick your friends and family's brain. Just say, hey, mom, I know this may not be for you, but what about some of your friends? And ask them to think about friends that they have that maybe be maybe struggling with their health or maybe struggling financially and ask if they can simply make that introduction. Another great way for you to do this is to find out people's needs and help fill in the blank for them. Spend some time when somebody catches your attention on Facebook or maybe it's somebody that's been on your dream list and you just haven't reached out to them yet. Spend some time, I call it doing a little recon, um, on their Facebook page looking at the things that they talk about and the things that they share about and the people that comment on their pages. Try to identify what their color personality is. Do they appear to be a yellow and somebody who's all about helping other people? Are they constantly volunteering or raising money for some charity or helping some friend out with their kids? Then when you reach out to them, let them know, look, I've had the opportunity to help so many people in this business, and I think you could too. Again, maybe they're a blue, like I mentioned earlier, and they're always doing girls' night out or girls' trips or doing double dates with other couples. They clearly are about relationships and about having a good time. Share with them about how much fun it is to get to do this with your friends. Look, you're already taking trips with your girlfriends. Why not get to take trips with them for free? Talk to them about Plexus. Um, if they are somebody that is a green, like myself, and they need a lot of information, then be ready and willing to provide that information to them. Look at all of the ways that our products are changing people's lives. Don't you want to get in on this? Um, they may be somebody that really feels like, look, everything that you're saying sounds wonderful, but I can't attach my name to something until I've actually tried the product. That was me. Um, I need to try the products first, and if they work for me like you say they're going to, then I will da 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 That's the beauty of sample packs. You should always be ordering sample packs from your back office and keeping them on hand so that if somebody says I'd really like to try it first you can send them a sample of the pink drink we also have samples of ease and body cream I always throw a couple of those in as well because you never know and um, so be ready and willing to allow them to try a sample first if they live in town drop it by their house if they live out of town run by the post office and send it on their way and then there's the uh, the the objection that comes up every once in a while about, is this a pyramid? Um, I've only gotten this a handful of times. My immediate response back to that is, what? Pyramid? Pyramid schemes are illegal. And this is where I'll take you back to the very first chapter when Andrea Mitchell and I talked to you about building belief and building belief in network marketing as a profession. Remind them that network marketing is a profession that has been around for over a hundred years. It's stable, it's viable, and it's not going anywhere. Um, and lastly, I just want to remind you guys about following up and staying connected. When somebody tells you no, it doesn't mean never. Oftentimes it just means not right now. We all know that we go through seasons in our life. And um, I think of myself and I think if Plexus had come to me, um, earlier than it did, I probably would have said no because I just wasn't at a place health-wise. I wasn't at a place, um, you know, mentally even where this was something that I was looking for, wanting, or needing. Um, I mean, I needed it. I just didn't know that I needed it yet. So it doesn't mean um, forever. It just means not right now. So it's really important that you stay connected with those people. If you send somebody the Facebook message that says, hey girl, I'd love to have you on my team, and they respond back by saying no, and then you just go dark and you never say anything to them, what impression does that leave with them? It leaves the impression that you are only interested in them because of the business. And this business is about building relationships. 
So if they say, you know what, this just isn't for me, say, hey, that's all right, and continue to just drop in. If you see them post something on Facebook about the kids having been sick, send them a message and be like, girl, I just saw that your kids are not feeling well. I'm so sorry to hear that. Can I bring you anything? Or is there anything I can do if there's somebody that's local? But let them know that you're interested in them personally, not just professionally. And then do strategic follow-ups every couple of months. Some people need multiple exposures. I um, had somebody join my team this past week who has been a preferred customer of mine since the very week that I signed up for Plexus. So almost three years. And she just now decided to take the leap um, to become an ambassador. So a lot of times it just is about it being the right time. It's about the follow-up. It's about the multiple exposures. Keep connected through Facebook. Keep connected through uh, text messaging. Don't forget to utilize your email as a very important resource and database. A lot of people only check their Facebooks on the weekend. They're busy, busy, busy during the week, and they just don't have time for social media except on the weekends. But almost everybody checks their email every day. So getting people's emails and creating a database is a very important thing to utilize. There are programs out there and apps. Um, MailChimp is one right off the top of my head where you can actually make and create your own newsletter where you could be sending something out to these people every month and sharing with them about a new product. You could share testimonies. You could share the before and afters from corporate. You could share about the clinical studies um, that we have coming out. Um, things that they might not see on Facebook, um, but you can deliver that right to their email. Just remember, I love the final thing that Sarah shares with us. The whole world is a lead if you are willing to share. So that is my challenge to you for the rest of this week is to go back through the things that I've talked about today and really figure out your plan for following up with the people that you've already been doing reach outs with and see what it is that you need to do to close the deal with them. I hope that you guys have a great day. I look forward to seeing uh, those of you that are going to be at Leaders Retreat. Please come and find all of us. We would love to, um, to meet you, to hear how uh, Rocktober has been helping you um, this month, and um, just to grab a quick picture with you. Those of you that aren't going to be at Leaders Retreat, remember, put that goal on your calendar today. This is, this is your goal, is to be at Leaders Retreat next year, and it starts by doing this daily IPA right now. Hope to see you guys soon and have a great day.